Welcome to the gun shop. Uh, today we are here with the Caesar Guarini Summit Ascent Sport. Um, isn't it nice, actually? Uh, first things you notice about it is it's quite cool. It's cool. I think the whole point of the designs is it's cool. Um, from the very way the sort of the rib actually attached to the gun, it's all very pleasing and delightful in sort of odd and little ways. Um, all right, let's move on uh, away from my little <laughs> excited moment. Um, actual breakdown of what we have in front of us. Caesar Guarini squidgy butt pad. The DTS adjustable comb, that's quite nice actually, a real fast system. Big full pistol grip with the palm swell. Manual safety catch. That's quite nice actually, really quite nice, very positive on these guns. Uh, Summit black action. They do do it in silver as well, but we found, well, we found certainly, um, that the gun lends itself to being big and dark and cool looking. The silver action tries to add a sort of an edge of refinedness that probably doesn't go. Beep tail forend, that's really nice actually, really nice dimensions. Uh, 10 mil high, slightly tapered rib with a big fat white bead sight on the front and a little tiny mid bead in there with a nice tiny track down the middle. Uh, it comes with, like all Caesar Greeny supporters, uh, more extended chokes than you can shake a stick at. Uh, flat back black barrels, so not too glossy, which perhaps don't go too well with the action. That's sort of not well, there's any particular contrast there, but it would be nice if the action was that same sort of anti glare finish. And that's it, that's it in a nutshell. Um, what makes it great? They put a lot of thought into this, like all things Caesar Greeny do, and they actually balance the whole thing out. So, for a massive heavy gun, it balances very, very neutral. Which is, well, as everybody knows, what I like. Um, target acquisition. Uh, the reason for having these sort of step-up ribs, and we're talking all the way back to sort of Winchester Diamond grades back in the day, that had these step-up ribs with these Monte Carlo style combs, I mean you get immense target acquisition. Instead of a standard shot point, you have to slam your head down. And obviously this gun's a bit short for me, but even then, every time, you bring it up, Bang down it. And you're round, coming in, batting you down it. There is something about it that just makes target acquisition very, very good. The downside to this, however, is uh, that it's a Monte Carlo with a high, high rib. It sort of looks a little bit extreme. Perfect for your sporting clays. However, to take this gun out and if you shoot 20 out of 50 with it, you're going to look like a little bit of a mug. However, a gun to go shoot and enjoy for the rest of your life um, is rather fantastic. Not a gun for novices per se. Uh, you couldn't really take it game shooting. Um, and perhaps it is a bit lumpy to carry around pigeon shooting all day, sitting a hide with. However, it's fast enough that you probably quite happily go and shoot pigeons with it anyway. But not really what it's designed for. Uh, my real issue with it is it's a step up rib gun. Uh, it's not a high rib, it's sort of a, 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 a high ish rib. <laughs> it's a 10mm raised rib with a Monte Carlo stock. As easy as they are to shoot, they give people the illusion of being more quality shots. It makes life easier, however, in the long run, perhaps isn't the answer. Um, however, if you want to go make yourself look like a pro, feel like a pro, it's probably a good option. I just can't get over quite how easy it is to, to mount. And I was playing with it earlier actually, and in the swing, I found nothing in a long time that is this easy to mount and keep on target. Um, let's say swinging it around the gun room, we've got an awful lot of edges and corners and oak everywhere. Uh, lots of lines to follow. And you can stop on a button, you can start going, you can get as fast or as slow as you want, immense control. Plus it looks awesome, I mean, why not, it's a boys toy, a real boys toy, um, I've sold quite a few and they're usually to, to men in their 20s and 30s, because they're awesome looking, perhaps not the most mature option, but who cares, it's cool.